And hello, and welcome to today's uh, chat, um, for want of a better term, door plugins and the holy grail of hardware controllers. Um, that's the title I've given to blog posts, which you're looking at here, which covers these two keyboards and what you can do with them. Um, out of the box, they come with um, a lot of support for the internal plugins for FL Studio, and it was quite straightforward to add um, external ones, although um, it's FireScript and um, probably only straightforward because I have a programming background. Now this blog post is really a list of um, supported plugins. Um, there's a little bit of history about um, plug-in hardware controllers. This is the Mackey C4 which is a great controller. Um, didn't get as much traction in the market and support from plug-in manufacturers or hardware manufacturers when it first came out um, support wise but um, I think it shows what we'd all like to have in front of us rotary controls showing you exactly where you are and the description of um, what you're actually doing um, right next to it or right above it um, as well, very nice. Um, but this is what we're here for, these are all the plugins that are supported. So for TAL I've got things like Jupyter 8, Juno, Baseline um, and others. Xenology I covered, Xenology, Roland Xenology I covered on the last video. Um, then there's plugins from Roland or plugouts, um, depending if you've got the System 8 um, and System 1, is it? Um, there's the Jupyter 8, D50, SH101, then from Arturia and Lab 5, Lab 4, um, and then from V Collection 7, which is the one I've got. I think the latest one is V Collection 9, but as I, s I didn't actually say, <laughs> I tried this doing this video once and I cocked it up because the camera was frozen. Um, I, I've only got V Collection 7, um, I think they're up to V Collection 9 now, um, and there is a limit to my finances. Uh, Jupiter 8, these are all Arturia, uh, Mini Moog, Piano version 2, Profit 5, um, Electric Piano, and then there's a little bit of blurb um, about where we go next or where I'd like um, plug-in manufacturers to go next, and uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Um, while I'm on the bl blog, uh, do take a look, there's a whole load of um, gudgeon here, for want of a better term, all to do with um, plugins, hardware controllers, um, music, FL Studio, and then there's the odd little thing about other things. There's my TV. Um, that was a band I was in back in the 80s. Uh, that one in the middle, that's actually me. It's a bit embarrassing. I don't look that good anymore, do I? Not that I didn't look particularly good uh, in those days. Um, anyway, I digress as I always do. Let's fire up FL Studio. And I think I called it Visual Studio uh, in the last video. Um, I didn't bother to correct it. I sp I'm a programmer, or I historically am a programmer, and I spent that much time in Visual Studio. <laughs> but it wasn't FL Studio, it was Visual Studio. But yeah, it's FL Studio. Um, let's. I've got the uh, two controllers already plugged in, and What's nice actually, if we go into MIDI settings, um, it's managed to, to set both of them up without any problem and they don't seem to be interfering with each other, which is quite nice. And there are things you can do with two controllers, but I'm not covering that today. I'll cover that in another post perhaps, um, if I get a chance. Let's add some plugins. So let's bring up, uh, I'm just picking them at random ones, which I know are supported. Now the Tel ones, um, I've only got the free versions. Um, it's not that I don't want them, but like I say, I am financially challenged. I can't just buy everything I want to get. Uh, what else should we open up? Like Jupiter 8, Tower 1, that's similar. Um, I can't see where the volume is on that one, but I can do it here. If you don't turn the volume down, they're basically the free ones, every now and again, um, they just emit some white noise for a short period of time. Not enough to stop you. Um, trying them out and enjoying them, um, but you couldn't use them to uh, record anything um, unless you buy them of course, which is I think completely fair enough. Oh, what I will do as well is I'm just going to detach these, um, well, that makes it easier to um, bring them to the fore uh, later on. Um, well, Xenology obviously, let's bring that up. The mod just come up from there, else, doesn't it? No, it's disappeared. Oh, how annoying. 
the volume wasn't making a difference on that, was it? Um, okay. Let's persist. Um, I lost the baseline, didn't I? Where's the baseline? And why are they jumping bases? Oh, I can't even be getting one or the other. That's not supposed to happen. Tell. Alright, let's press on anyway. Um, let's bring up Unlock Lab 5 from Arturia. Let's detach that. Just bear with me while I'm um, bringing these up. It won't take long, but it's worth having a few on screen just to demonstrate um, the functionality. Flex. It's a bit big, isn't it? Um, let's detach it. Let's see if we can make that a bit smaller. Hmm, I don't think it lets us, which is a bit annoying. Let's Put it down there for now. Thank you, Tal. Thank you for the And then just see what I can see it. Because my eyes, that's not that good. And I'm looking at quite a small screen there. Okay, let's press on. Um, let's bring up. Uh, mini mooc and let's detach that and let's bring up one more um, what else do we like did I do the profit five I think I did didn't I oh, it's getting hard to actually get to them to detach them so I think we'll call it a day there. We'll move things around a little bit. Just so I can click on them. And what I wanted to show you, if we go into um, plug-in mode on the FL key, you'll see straight away that I've got control there as expected and to give the white noise. And if I click over to one of the others, Profit 5, I've got control of the equivalent <coughs> parameters. <coughs> what I've tried to do is to take a take what Roland have done in bringing up the um, cutoff, resonance, attack, release, and vibrato and the level. And I've picked out the equivalent on here. Now. The sharp amongst you will notice that there are two um, knobs left over and my plan is to use those for probably the most useful knobs that are part of each individual plugin. So I wanted to get um, similarity to uh, the buttons, um, consistency rather, um, and but then I felt well a little bit of digression to give you specific functionality for each plugin is probably a good thing as well. Um, anyway, I can't do two things at once, as you probably realised before. Well, I've made an exception with Analog Lab 5 because it's so obvious you just want control over the buttons along the bottom there. But that's what I've done. Um, Tal Jupiter 8. I think it's because it's felt. Oh, if I turn the volume down there, no. That doesn't make a difference. Um, what haven't I done? I'm going to do the smooth mini. See them moving right. Not as easy to spot actually, but you can probably see the dials twiddling around. And there's the volume, the final one. And flex, I, I wanted to bring flex up because what I like is the, what they've done with the macros here. So you've got these um, faders here, which um, I've mapped, but you can then decide which controls um, you want them to control. So um, I think that's what I'd like to see plugin manufacturers do. Either um, decide themselves that they're going to raise a series of properties sim in a similar way to what Roland would have done with all their instruments. These are probably the things that you want to reach for straight away. Um, and then obviously if you want to go in and edit in more detail, you go to your screen and you start fiddling. Um, and I think all plugins are like that, and all plugins are different. Um, some of these plugins lend themselves to cut off 
uh, frequency attack. Well, they've all got the ADSR, the envelope. Um, I think almost without exception. Um, but some of them are compromised. Um, I do tell. Um, I think I need to buy all these things. Um, but bear with me. I'll speak a bit closer to the microphone until it stops. That's probably pretty much everything that I wanted to show you, I think. Um, oh, I'll just go into the code just quickly. So if you go into MIDI settings um, and go into the script folder and native pop parameters is the one that I fiddle with. You can see there, very straightforward. Um, it's sussing out which parameters are the right ones. Can take some time. Um, but you can see as I go through them there, you've got Sirius, uh, Mini Synth. Oh, those these ones are actually the um, internal ones, the ones that I've done. I'm up here. All these ones. Before we start recognising them, I say Analog Lab 4 and 5, Profit 5, Piano version 2, then there's the Roland ones there. Um, and as I say, the uh, I think I'm going to call it a day there. Thanks very much for your time. <laughs> Thank you, Carol, for the noise, for the white noise. Fabulous.